After Nicole left Brady Pub, she went to Daniel's grave, just as predicted. Sandy got word, and that's when he made his move. Grateful for your bravery, Nicole. Don't cry, Nicole. You're going to be joining your precious Daniel very, very soon. Just hearing his voice took me back to that night when he was stalking Eric and me. Well, Nicole, I'm grateful for your bravery as well, but don't you think it was awfully risky to put her in the line of fire that way? Yeah, it was. Was I reluctant to involve Nicole? You're damn straight I was. Okay, let's not blame Deimos, okay? He didn't have a choice. I told him I wanted to find a way to put that monster behind bars, and it was worth the risk. Even if there was just a small chance that I never had to look over my shoulder again. And let's not forget my trusty pepper spray. <laughs> oh, I so would have wanted to use that on him. You know, if that sicko would have touched me, I would have blasted him with this. So once he had you hostage? That's when I convinced Xander to call Deimos. Yeah, and I got to tell you, that psych report that Marlena worked up was spot on. Xander is a narcissist. He desperately needs approval. All right, so that's how you worked him. Did he ever? Xander's so dense, he didn't even feel the hammer dropping. Yeah, well, he's also so desperate to be a part of this family. So believe me, I had a lot to work with. Let me guess, you, uh, you made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Let's just say I preyed upon his many flaws, his weaknesses. And now, I have my nephew right where I want him.